Okay, specific heat problems. There are three. The equation looks like this. Q equals M times C times delta T. Or, if you'd rather, Q equals M times C times temperature final minus temperature initial. That's what you're doing. Really, I mentioned a couple times that it doesn't matter if this is in Kelvin or Celsius because if it's in Celsius, and let's say the final temp was 2 and the initial temp was 0, and that'd be a change of 2. And how do I get from Kelvin to Celsius? What do I add? 273. So that would make this 275, and this would be 273. And what's the difference still? 2. So it doesn't really matter if you put your temperature in Kelvin or Celsius, because if you add 273 to both the numbers, it's still the same temp, or still the same temp change, I should say. So here's what a sample problem looks like. The easier kind of problems read this way. How much energy, and you should write these down instead of staring at them with your arms crossed. How much energy in joules is added to a 12 gram sample of aluminum which has a specific heat of 0 0.897 joules per gram times Celsius to raise the temp from 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Oopsies, sorry. Look at how my parentheses lined up there. That's pretty awesome. Right? <coughs> Little things. Anyway, um, I want to know how much energy do I need to put into a 12 gram sample of aluminum, which has that specific heat, to raise the temperature from 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. So, Use the equation. A lot of these are just kind of plug and chug. You write the equation down, you might need to rearrange it, and then you slam the numbers in there, and bam, the answer pops out. So Q equals MC delta T. The mass of this is 12 grams. Specific heat of aluminum, the C, is 0.897 joules per gram times Celsius. And I only have to go uh, from 20 to 45, and that difference, if you take 45 minus 20, is 25 degrees Celsius. Notice, degrees Celsius cancels that Celsius, and grams cancels that grams, and if you haven't got a calculator out yet, now would be a really good time to get it out. If you do the math there, Q equals 269.1 joules. A lot of times you'll be converting between kilojoules and joules. That's really common for these kinds of problems. So in case you're asked what to report it in kilojoules, you divide by 1,000, and it'd be 0.269 kilojoules. That's the same thing. Questions on the easiest kind of problem? Then you, my friends, are ready for the next easiest kind of problem. Number two. And I'm just doing three of these. All right, this one. What's the mass of a sample of, ooh, hair felt. <laughs> Tie-in, which has a specific heat of 2.1 joules per gram times Kelvin. If, comma, after 350 kilojoules of energy is added, comma, the temp increases from 100 Kelvin to 200 Kelvin. Whoopsies.
Okay, so this problem is about mass, and so you can still work with this equation, Q equals MC delta T. Now, me, I'm going to rearrange the things before I plug numbers in, but I was, when I was in high school, I didn't like to do that. So whatever works for you, as long as you're showing me some work, is fine. But if I'm going to solve this for mass, which is the M, I'm going to divide both sides by M and delta T first, so they cancel out. So I know that mass equals Q over M times delta T. And that saves me a little bit of time on the back end, because we can do this first and then just plug the numbers in and, spit them, and it spits out your answer. So the amount of energy was 350 kilojoules, but that's got to be in joules, so that's how many, kilo, how many joules is that? How many? Well played, 350,000 joules. And the mass of the sample was, I'm solving for, whoopsie, sorry with the M here. You, why didn't, no one told me. C and C, sorry. So the specific heat of this was of hair felt, which we didn't know existed until about five minutes ago, is 2.1 joules per gram times Kelvin. And you multiply that by the temp change, which was, went from 100 to 200, so the difference is 100 Kelvin. This Kelvin cancels that Kelvin. That grams is going to remain over to this 1 over 1 over grams. And that joules cancels that joules. So when you plug this into your calculator, you should do this. Otherwise, you won't get the right answer. And it takes well over a thousand grams of hair felt to hold the temperature to only a hundred degree difference. Is that what you guys got? Questions on that problem? Ready for the last one? Uh, I guess we would say quote, hardest kind of problem is the one that you solve for one of the temperatures. In terms of hard, I don't know how hard it is, but you know, that's kind of the other ones we're doing, that's the most challenging. So if I asked you in number three, what is the final temp <coughs> of a sample of water after 150 kilojoules of heat are added? to a 500 gram sample that started at 20 degrees Celsius. And you need to know that specific heat of water equals 4.18 joules per gram times Celsius. All right, this is nice if you're going to use, if it's final or initial temp, I would write it as Q equals M times C times T final, whoopsies, that's a minus, not equals bad, minus T initial. And you want final temp, that's that variable right there. And again, if you're not good at math, um, you know, this might take you a little bit longer, but you divide each side by M and C, so you get something like, U equals M time, wait, why? Why am I talking? You also have to add TI to each side, right? Because you want it to be final by itself. So if I rewrote the whole thing, it'd be the final temp equals Q over M and times C plus the initial temp. Not very good at rearranging on my part, but hopefully you get the idea. Now again, if you want to plug the numbers in, that's fine. You can do that first. But I find this easier in my brain. So so let's shove these in here. I guess just down here would work fine. The amount of heat was 150 kilojoules. That's 150,000 joules. The mass of this water was 500 grams. Specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram times Celsius. 
and the initial temp of the water was 20 degrees. When you're plugging these in, this has to go first before you can do that, before you can add 20. So on your calculator, it should look something like that. And if you do all that work, you'd find out what you're not doing because you're just waiting for me to give you the answer. You'd find out that it is about 91.77 degrees Celsius. So if you take half a liter of water and start at 20 degrees Celsius and add 100 particular joules of heat, you'd find that the water went up to about 91.77 degrees Celsius.